So today, I'm laying out the kitchen cabinets and countertop. There'll be a sink by the window and a little uh, propane cooktop and then a refrigerator back in the corner. And uh, I'm just kind of laying it out. Uh, I don't know if you can see the chalk line on the floor here. You or a little, maybe you can see better. Uh, and that's the doors I have. And the way I made those doors that are under the bed, uh, and this is all I could get my hands on at a reasonable price. But I got these for two bucks a piece. I couldn't buy oak for two bucks a piece and make them. But I, what I did was cut them and glue them together in the middle and it made a pretty nice door. Uh, so I've got enough left to do uh, four doors, or six doors actually, uh, on the front of the kitchen countertops. And then I'm going to do a little two foot wall cabinet here and I'm only going to go two foot because of the refrigerator sitting here and the refrigerator will open this direction. So I have just enough room to put a two foot upper cabinet and it'll only be eight inches deep so it doesn't stick way out and get in the road. But it'll be big enough for spices, uh, red solo cups, whatever. Uh, So that's that's what I'm doing. I'm laying this out and trying to then I'm gonna figure material costs and then we're gonna run the Lowe's and buy some material to make this. And uh, I've got the water tank ordered that'll sit right here. Uh, the dimensions of it are 21 long, uh, 16 high, and 8 inches deep. So it'll just sit nice on the ledge right there under the counter, below the, below the countertop, and the water fill will be somewhere right in here, uh, out on that side, so on the exterior. So that's what I'm doing, I'm laying this out, and uh, next time you see me I'll have some materials and we'll start making it. Hi, welcome back. I'm building them instead of buying cabinets mainly to keep them light. Uh, and I'm making up the doors for them, so... I'll show you. I'll show you what I'm doing here in a minute. So I decided to build a wall cabinet and hang it before I do the base cabinets. Just like you do in a residential kitchen. It just makes it easier to get at the wall and, and hang it. So I got all the pieces parts cut out. That's, that's one of the ends. That's the front face frame. There's another end. Um, so I'm going to put it all together here and then hang it up oh and i had to slope that five degrees the cabinet slope the back of the cabinet slopes five degrees to match the slope of the wall so that wasn't easy to calculate okay so i got it put together and i guess i'm ready to hang it i got some screws started All right, so now I'm starting the bottom cabinets. One thing I don't like about some campers is that they don't put a toe kick on the cabinet. Uh, and a toe kick is that area that's recessed back under, which if you're standing there doing dishes or cooking at the stove, 
that's a nuisance because I mean it's just really hard on your back because you can't stand as close over things so that's why they put a toe kick on cabinets and houses and that's why I'm putting a toe kick on the cabinet in the camper in the Vardo so that's where I'm starting out and I'll build up from there uh, after I I'm gonna put angle braces on this mount it to the floor that'll anchor everything down and then I'll build up from there I'll put a next I'll build a face frame and set on the front so that's where we're at right now those are one by threes uh, and a lot of the cabinets gonna either be well it'll all be either one by three or one by two so stick with me here and I'll show you what I do next good morning all right so it's the next morning uh, and I've been giving this a lot of thought and normally when you build cabinets the styles which are the vertical pieces go the whole length and the rails which are the horizontal pieces go in between because of the way I'm gonna fasten this frame together I've kind of decided to make my life easier I'm gonna make it so the rails go the whole way and the styles go in between the rails uh, it, it isn't going to make that much difference and it's going to be painted and it shouldn't be noticeable and 9 out of 10 people wouldn't know that it's supposed to be the other way anyway uh, it's just going to make life a lot easier doing it that way so if you notice it that's why I know the difference but uh, I'm going to break the rules here So here's what I was talking about, the way I'm going to fasten these together. Uh, I used to have a little cabinet shop and I had a lot of nice tools and made a living with them and wore them out and when I got out of it, the tools were either wore out and gone or uh, I sold them. So. Uh, I don't have a biscuit cutter anymore, so uh, this is a good way to join these and it'll work and uh, the nails won't show because they'll be out of sight on the bottom. That's how I'm going to put the frame together. So i got to be able to nail through the narrower one into the bigger one is why I'm doing the rail, the whole length and the style vertical. So, I got, I'm using these wider styles next to the door here so that when the cabinet door opens it gives it a little more room uh, you can open it further so that's why I'm using the wider styles here uh, some places just the way it works out for the width of the doors some places it'll have wide styles some places it'll have narrow styles but it'll, it'll even out and work and uh, nobody will ever know the difference. So I'm pre-drilling these for the nails. Through the rail. Also, every joint's glued, as you can see. Now the upper style, 
just because the way it works out for the the height of the cabinet to, to work for the height of the door, the upper rail has to also be the one by three instead of a one by two. Uh, so uh, I'm going to use little metal plates to attach the style and rail because the one by three is too wide to nail through. So uh, I'm going to put those little plates on. I'll be right back. Okay, so there was a little change of game plan here on the rails and styles. Uh, for the big section here, I did run the styles clear down and attach them to the front of the toe kick. Uh, but I but I did set also the that top rail I set on top of the styles, and uh, there's plates on the back. Attaching them uh, Angle bracket over there angle brackets attaching the toe kick to the floor and The piece I put on the wall those two befores are just there to hold it level and straight for me till I got it in place, but um They come out, but that strip that's on the wall is panel glued and screwed into every stud so uh it's good and strong nothing moves around it'll be mostly doors on the front i like that so i can get o get it open and get at the water pump that'll be back there get at things that are stored in there and not have to fight things in and out of the door and oh and because that outer wall slopes i it was hard to figure out where it needed to be so I just clamped a big framing square on the front of the cabinet and put the front of the cabinet square to the floor and then I measured what it needed to be here to get back to that sloped wall so works for me I'll be back Okay, so there's all the frame done. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, I got to glue up four more doors like that one. Um, I bought from a salvage yard, I bought 12 inch doors. They didn't have any 24 inch. Uh, they were, and they're getting out of the door business. So they have always had thousands of cabinet doors in stock. But of course, now they're getting out of it. Now that I need them. And... Uh, so anyway, I bought what they had that I could make work and uh, I'm gluing two, stacking two together and gluing them and uh, they'll work. So anyway, I got to get everything all, I'll paint all the frame gray and paint the doors gray and then I got to get the hinges and get them mounted. So, and then countertop. Tomorrow, um, no, tomorrow's Saturday. Monday, my fresh water tank is supposed to be here. Guaranteed delivery by Monday the 7th. But the tracking number shows it hasn't even shipped yet. So we'll see. Uh, got it off eBay. I also got the um, water fill cup, they call it. That's the part that goes on the outside. That the, It's a gravity fill to fill the water tank from outside. And uh, different seller, and it tracking number shows it should be here tomorrow, USPS. <clears throat> but I, I probably won't put it in until I have the tank so I can make sure it's positioned right. But anyway, so the water tank will be next uh, so that I can work in there without the doors in the route or anything. And water tank will get mounted back there in the corner and the fill right under the countertop next to the window around in here somewhere. And then uh, I'm going to get an on-demand 12-volt water pump that will mount on the ledge right by the tank. So all that will be next. Um, 
and then we'll get these uh, doors mounted and then countertops. Okay, so all the doors are painted, sanded, repainted, and dry. And so I started, started mounting the top ones first. And I clamped that board on there to keep them nice and level and straight while I get the screws in the hinges. I put the hinges on the door first and then set the door up there and put the hinge onto the cabinet. So now I got to put the other one on. I'll be back. There's another little trick for you. I had a tiny little gap there along that top rail and I didn't have any wood filler. So what you do is take some glue and some sawdust and mix them together and use it as wood filler. And when that all dries real good, I'll sand it off and I'll paint it and you'll never see it. So the hinges come with a little felt bumper. It's kind of a peel and stick little thing and that'll go on the one on the top and one on the bottom of each door. And it just makes it so when it closes it doesn't bang as much. These are spring loaded hinges. Be back. Well, I don't know whether to be ticked off or just happy I got it when I did, but my water tank finally arrived. Uh, I ordered it from Class A Custom in Elkhart, Indiana, off eBay. Guaranteed delivery of Monday the 7th. Uh, it's Tuesday the 8th, but I guess that's not bad one day late, so... We're going to put a water tank in. That's cool. I'll be back. And that'll be the next episode. Putting in the water tank, running the tubing for the water pump, uh, the water fill, the vent line. And this is Wednesday. This coming Friday begins a big RV show in Cleveland, Ohio. And I'm going to go to that RV show and see if I can find a on-demand 12-volt water pump. Uh, I found them on eBay and uh, know about what they're going for on there. At the RV show, sometimes they have some real special deals and I'll see what I can find. Um, you know, I can save shipping and I can have it in hand right away. So... Uh, if, uh, if I find a, wa a water pump, I'll be putting that in too. And uh, you'll see that next episode. So, hope you come back and join me. Thanks for watching the videos. Please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Uh, if you're enjoying the project, stick with me. It's been a lot of fun and it's going to get better and better now. See you next week.